All right, so here we kind of got a little bit of a buzz kill. Um, so we're not allowed to boil and or fry no seafood, and you can't consume it either. No spacewalks, trains, carousels, no pony rides. What's the point? Welcome back you guys. We're here for day 13 in Louisiana at Parque de Familia, a John Houck design. John Houck really likes his dual option fairways so there should be a lot of multi-option wooded holes out here. So far on hole one we got these beautiful cypress trees. Looks to be some old swampy land that maybe got drained out. Let's see how it plays out. We're here on hole one just south of New Orleans right now. Starting off with a par three just under 300 feet. You got a straight gap to choose. Also one to the right. There's a few more trees to deal with if you choose the rightward gap. So I'm gonna play the straight side, try to get a left side look on the green. I'm gonna take my fuse down this left gap, let it drift to the right. Sure drifted a little earlier than I like, but should be a long putt. Five footer to start my round, not exactly what you're looking for, but we'll make an adjustment. A little shorter than that circle two look, gotta settle far on hole one. On to hole two, we got a par four here, bending left in the mid middle of the hole, 564 feet. There is kind of an option off to the right, but it looks like kind of a sucker option. I'm gonna rip it straight with a fairway driver, see how much distance we can get. I missed my intended angle, a little too much hyzer. There's some space over here that I didn't know about though. 250 to the pin, forehand harp. A little too much hyzer again. Getting cozy with the cypress over here. Here's a good one. Couldn't use much legs there, so I had to get a Good pop on my hand, good timing. Solid birdie. Hole three looks like a nice opportunity for birdie. 267 feet. A couple trees on the right side to beat as well as one on the left side of the green coming in. I'm gonna take a forehand here with the putter. Not trusting my angles right now. Shoving that long putt. Work on that angle with the forehand, but got it close enough for a putt. Good thing about those short holes, usually if you throw it decent, you'll have one inside the circle. In classic John Hauk fashion, around hole four or five, you usually see your first par five. This one's coming in at 852 feet. Looks like it plays relatively straight, but there's gonna be a little bit of a bend to the left on this first shot, and then we'll see what we got from there. Gonna pull on my Explorer here, nice and flat. Just try to let it ride straight the whole way. Should be able to scramble from there, but coming out early off the hand so far today. In a bit of a pickle over here. Gonna try to make some progress with the forehand roller. A lot of armadillos and a lot of pot, potholes out here, so you gotta watch your footing. Ripping my Pioneer on a forehand, just try to make some progress, get up there for a par. Maybe a long look for birdie, should be a pretty easy par. Didn't play this hole too great. Feeling fortunate to have a look after two pretty bad shots to start this hole, for birdie at least. Nope. 
pretty simple car putt. Always nice when you shank up a hole and don't take a number on your scorecard. Hole five is our first taste of the open. Got a little airspace here to rip on it. 601 foot par four. I'm gonna try to make a lot of progress with a hyzer release on a distance driver. Ripping on my ride here. Be there now they didn't say nothing about no armadillo boys Pretty easy birdie works left that up a little bit short probably should use my range finder there our six holes a straightaway tunnel at 272 feet a little tasty ace run if you can hit the gap go straight Ooh, nice straight line. It was lacking about three feet of height there. Left that one a bit short. A little soft on the fan grip, but good putt. This hole is five feet shorter than the last one. A little bit of a bend to the right at the end of this one. Really suiting a right hand forehand shot. A little wind coming at my head here, which should help keep the disc up and help it fade right. Nice on a hole like this. Going with my Lucid X Justice here. Solid drive to circle one, my specialty. Let's go. Make sure to oil my saw blade so I'd have some kind of look in the woods kept my spirits about. Gotta stay confident even if you're, after you throw a bad shot. Hole eight's looking like another par three you wanna pick up on way to a hot score. 249 feet, throw it straight, have it bend left after about 180 of them. Going with the harp here. Got this little skinny tickler branches up in the middle of the ferry, so as long as you beat those, it should be good. Pretty money. Just enough. Keep the oil on me this time for the rim, not the fairway. We're finishing off the front nine at Parc de Famille with another par four. This one's 611 feet. You throw it dead straight about as long as you can off the tee, and it's gonna bend to the right. I lasered the long tree line. It's at three. It's at 460. So I'm thinking I'm going to take my Explorer here, try to bite off a straight line as far as I can. A little bit of headwind here, so hopefully it doesn't flip my disc over too much. Oh yeah, that one rode nice and flat. Should be a good spot from there. 333 to the bucket on a little bit of a mild hyzer angle. I got these raspberry blackberry thorns kind of crimping my run up in. Let's see what we got. Oh, a little inside there. Should have a jumper though. Oh, right on the number nine. I love that putt though. I'll take that miss all day. Yeah, par is not too bad. Hole 10 is a par three at 324 feet. Threw a field goal about 260 feet off the way. A little bit of fade to the left, but dead straight will do the job here. Heiser flip with the compass here. Just long in the bucket there, a little too straight. Good catch by the basket there. We like those. 
Hole 11's another shorter par four at 604 feet. Gonna push it out straight off the tee. Jogs a little bit to the right in the mid flight of the hole. I'm gonna play it straight with the fairway driver here on a backhand. Going with my Explorer here. Wow, started off with the left tree line and drifted beautifully, landed back flat. Love that flight out of that disc. Left myself about 240 to the pin, forehand with the harp here. Missed my line by mere inches there. See if we can chip it in. Oh, had the chain height just a little right. Even with a pretty ideal drive, it was a tight approach, so not the easiest birdie, even though it's a short par four. Hole 12 is another par four. This one's right around the 600 range again. This time 608. Looks like you can't really bite off as much distance off the tee here since it pinches you, makes you fly the disc left. Should be a longer approach into the green that'll move right at the end of the flight. Just ran three quarters of a mile for this Pioneer, so better fly right here. Heck yeah, even off the trees. Let's go. 300 feet left, dead straight. Gonna flick my Pioneer here. Squeeze through the little twin tree, should have a putt there. Tricky stance, gotta drop a high floaty hyzer putt here. Oh, a little short. Par here on 12. 311 feet, straight as straight can be. That's all you need to know before you throw here in hole 13. Hyzer flip with the compass here. Heavy on the hyzer, but played the backboard there. Nice putt look. Maybe call Matty O and figure out how to do his little. We pretty much have the same par three here in hole 14. Just a few less things in the way and three more feet to go. Nice little backstop. We're ace running this one, y'all. Just too much hyzer there. Like the speed, like the height. There we go. Hole 15 is a par five at 888 feet. Go straight off the tee. Bends about 45 degrees right. About two more shots to go after that. I'm gonna play a backhand on the right side with the compass. I don't like the low ceiling over here. Be able to work from there. Long way to go, a lot of rough on either side, so I'm not gonna bite off too much. Play another mid range here. Right in the middle should be a manageable look for Birdie there. Look to have about 280 into the bucket. I'm gonna finish off my faith here. Oh yeah, should be nice and close. Oh, barely squeezed that one in. Just goes to show, even if the par five's 900 feet, I can take my mid-range twice and a putter, get a birdie. Hole 16's 292 feet. Classic forehand par three hole. I'm gonna take my Pioneer here. Much skip in this sand, but we got a putt from about 25. Two to go. Hole 17, just under 600 feet. It's a par four, shooting out of the woods into the wide open. Got a pond to carry here in the mid flight. I'm liking a nice firm forehand here. Gonna pop my rhyme nice and firm, see what happens. Had 
another disc collide with mine, but should be a good spot from there, I believe. Fairly cleared the water, probably about 220 to the pin. Been such a treat so far here at Parc de Famille, just outside of New Orleans. Got another beautiful sunset happening. One of the many things we love about winter disc golf in the south. Finishing off with a sweet par four here on hole 18, 561 feet. Teeing off through the swamp here at first, out into the open, and then playing across that same pond that we just played on 17. Looks like a good finishing hole. A lot of chances for separation. A lot of room to work with left, so I'm gonna play a stable distance driver in my ride. Just try to make some distance, get myself an angle. Or to shank it to a great spot. Let's go. I'm not trying to mess with this water too much, so I'm just gonna play a right side look on the green here. I want my heart. Didn't have it in me. We're getting kicked out though by the park managers. They say it closes at sundown. I think I think the sun's still up, so I'd like a few more minutes, but it's what it is, you know. We're gonna be out of here in time though. Thanks for joining for day 13 of Vlogmas here at Parque de Famille in New Orleans, Louisiana. Beautiful park, really well done. Got a tee box for every skill level. Make sure you check it out if you're in the area. And don't forget to like and subscribe.